In this video, we'll cover the git add command, which is the first of two commands that we'll use to make a commit. And as we previously talked about in the last video, uh, we use two commands because that allows us to separate out particular changes we've made. We can, I think I used the imagery of tweezers, we can tweeze them out and select them before we make a commit. So we can group things together. And this git add command is what enables that to happen. So once we've done some work, we've actually made changes, we then call those changes out using the git add command to stage them for a commit, and then we can make a commit. And in this video, we're focusing on the first piece. And before we can do anything with Git, we need to make some changes. We need to do that first part, work on stuff. So uh, I'm gonna do a quick demo. I made this folder my first novel. I'm pretending I'm writing a novel. Uh, we have a Git repository in here as we did we initialized it earlier. So I'm now pretending to sit down. It's day one of writing my novel and I'm gonna do some work. And if I was actually writing a novel, I would probably start by making an outline. That's just how I like to work. I, out, I outline all my courses. So I just made a new file there, outline.txt. Um, and I've opened this folder up in a text editor. I'm using VS Code. So here it is, it's just an empty file. So if I'm writing my novel, I'll put some basic stuff in here. I am pretending that I'm writing The Great Gatsby, just so we're upfront about that. It's now in the public domain in 2021. So yep, I'm writing The Great Gatsby. So I'm going to be writing part of chapter one. So I start the outline. All I know so far, it's very early on in the writing process, is that we're going to meet some of the, our characters in chapter one. I haven't figured out what else happens yet. So uh, I'll save that file. And if I come over here and I type get status, we now have made some changes in this project and Git notices something. It says something it didn't say earlier. Untracked files, outline.txt. Hmm. All right, so I'm still writing. It's a little bit later in the morning. Uh, I've outlined, you know, I need to meet these characters or introduce them in chapter one. Maybe I wanna start by uh, actually fleshing out those characters. I'm gonna make a file called characters.txt. So before I actually write chapter one, I want to make sure I've hammered out the details about those characters. And I'm just gonna copy and paste some stuff in I've written. Okay, so we've got Jay Gatsby, Nick Carraway, Daisy Buchanan, Tom Buchanan, just little bios about each character. And if you're following along, you can put whatever you want in here. And then I save the file. All right, so I'm done for the morning. I, I wanna take a break uh, before I actually begin writing chapter one. So I've saved those files. If I head back over to my terminal and I type git status again, now git tells me there's two files that it's aware of, but it's not tracking, okay? So we've done step one, I've, I've worked on stuff. Now I wanna make a commit with what I've done. Well, now we need to talk about a, a tiny bit of terminology. Uh, three different locations, or not actual physical locations, working directory, staging area, and the repository. Let's start with this first one, working directory. That's just a fancy way of, of referring to the directory, the place we're actually working on our project. So for me, my working directory is this my first novel folder. And in our working directory, I have two files at the moment. I might have more, I could have a hundred files in here. The working directory just refers to this directory where I'm working. Then we have the repository itself. This is the .git folder. Remember, there is a .git folder here ls-a, there it is. Inside of that folder, at the moment, there's some stuff that's just there, some default contents. But once I actually make a commit, git commit changes what is in .git. It actually adds new commits to that folder. So when we actually make a commit, we are updating that folder, the actual git repository. Otherwise, everything I've done so far is just in the working directory. And then there's this intermediate thing, this zone, again, not a physical location, the staging area. And this is where we add our changes to before we make a commit. So here's another flavor of diagram. Uh, we have those three terms, working directory, staging area, and repository. On the left side in the working directory, you can see a bunch of changes that I've made. So hypothetically, I've been working for a while. I've done some, you know, I've, I've been working on a project, some web development project, uh, and I've changed seven files and Git has noticed that. So I've decided, okay, there's actually two discrete things I was working on. 
And I'm going to make my first commit with those bottom four files that I changed. They have to do with uh, the nav bar. I updated the nav bar or I created a new nav bar on our web page. So I stage those changes first. And I do that using the git add command. Then I can make a commit. And then same thing for these other changes. I can stage them. Then I make a commit at which point I'm actually updating the .git folder. So I know I'm kind of beating a dead horse, but this is really important. Two commands, git add is just going to stage changes so that I then commit them. And this git add command is pretty simple. It's git space add, and then one or more files, the name of a file that we've changed. Uh, and we can do more, we can do multiple if we separate them by spaces. Otherwise we can just do git add file name. So uh, over here, in my working directory, I have these two files, right? I've changed them. They exist. They didn't exist earlier and get noticed. And it tells me this. Let me make this full screen here. It says untracked files, characters, and outline.txt. Use git add file to include in what will be committed. Okay, so why don't we do that? I'll add the first one. So git add and I can do autocomplete if I type something and then hit tab. So git add characters.txt. Now let's type git status again. I haven't made a commit. All that I've done is stage the one file, characters.txt, to be committed, but it's not yet committed. So if I wanted to, I could make a commit now with just that one file that I changed, but I'm gonna group them together because uh, you know I, I worked on them together, they have to do with one another, Unlike this example here, where I wanted to group things into two individual commits, I instead want to group everything on this project so far, just two files, into one commit. So I'm going to also add outline.txt, and then I'm going to look at get status. We always use get status. It can never hurt anything, it just reports back. And you'll see whenever we make a commit, those two files will be included. So what we need to do next is cover git commit. We need to learn how to make those commits.